What is up guys, welcome to Rapid Swapy Gaming and today Today we're gonna be discussing how Infinity War quietly adds 120 FPS to Call of Duty Warzone on the Xbox Series X but not the PS5 which is kinda a slap to the face even though Sony has a partnership with Activision and Call of Duty usually gets everything on the PlayStation how it used to be for the Xbox 360 now it's everything for the PlayStation dude but without any further ado, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe let's get started Infinity War has added 120 FPS support to Call of Duty Warzone on the Xbox Series X, but not the PlayStation 5. To support, which was not mentioned in Modern Warfare's latest patch, published this uh, week on our social media, was spotted by players at the Taste of the Battle Royale mode on Microsoft's new console. The Microsoft Store uh, listing for both Warzone and Modern Warfare mentioned 120 FPS. Digital Foundry's initial testing confirms Warzone now targets 120 FPS on the Xbox Series X, but mostly hits between 100 and 120 FPS, which is just blows my mind that this consoles are hitting now 120 FPS, and it's not just a 1080p guys, it's a 1440p and a 4K. The PlayStation. It's still a lot of 60 FPS. It, it has to do with the uh, backwards compatibility, how it works for the PlayStation 5, and then how it works for the Xbox Series X. With the X with the Xbox Series X, they could just add a patch, boom, you got your backwards compatible game running smoothly, just like they do with the original Xbox games, how they sometimes they upgrade them to 60 FPS, or how they did with the 360 games to Xbox One, it's and vice versa. With the PlayStation 4. It's a lot different because they've been really like iffy about backwards compatible with that. And now it's biting sunny in the ass. Now the Warzone is limited to 60 FPS on the PlayStation 5. Don't get me wrong, it's still a really solid experience. But once you try 120 FPS, man, it's just not going back to uh, to 60 because it's just, it's just not the same. And people are really saying that, oh, it's because the Xbox is so much powerful and all this and that they run on the same architecture they just have like a little less compute units from the ps5 to the xbox i am not defending the ps5 i'm not defending the xbox but people try comparing the xbox one x to like a graphics card back in the day when it first came out and they were comparing it to an rx 580 if you guys know anything about computers they used to compare the rx 580 to the gtx 1070 but that was not the case. The GTX 1070 had the same compute units that the RX 580 had, but the RX 580 did not stand a chance against the GTX 1070, dude. It literally just, like, it traded blows with the GTX 1060 until this day still does, but it did age a little better. So what we can see in the future is the developers implementing better patches, better features, and more updates to make sure that the PlayStation 5 it's actually going to be reaching its full potential. I think at this time, Sony it's like really, really limiting how the PlayStation 5 performs. Why? I have no idea. I think it has to do, like I said, with the backwards compatibility issue. Well, not issue or mentality that Sony has right now. That everything has to be going forward. You cannot play anything from the back from back, like a backlog like Microsoft does. With Microsoft, you can play old school uh, Xbox games, your Xbox 360 games, your Xbox One games, and not the Xbox Series X and S game. I do own the PlayStation 5, and I am uh, I am gonna be getting my new Xbox Series S tomorrow. I was able to pre-order it yesterday. If you guys wanna know how to get that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also follow uh, those people on Twitter that I've been leaving the links in the description down below. What do you guys think about this? You guys think that Activision will be bringing the new 120 FPS to the PlayStation 5? Because I know they have to rewrite the game. They have to make a a, a PlayStation 5 version for it. But I want to know your guys' opinion. What you guys think about this? You really think Sony's gonna fall behind this generation? Maybe. Who knows? Hopefully not, dude. Because I already spent $600 on the PlayStation 5. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always. Epic Gaming out.